Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. The uh, extreme cold snap is over and it's only minus 20 Celsius right now, so it's warmed up quite a bit from the minus 35 Celsius. And uh, this is the weather to try out bubble wrap as a insulative shelter. I have that tent we took on the river and I'm just gonna surround that with uh, bubble wrap, throw the heater inside and see if it keeps me alive through the night. Of course, the campground is closed, so I'm just going to pipe things in on the sled. And we'll have to do a lot of shoveling. This should do. Uh, of course, the first part of the job is where all the heart attacks happen. Shoveling snow. Um, fortunately, we only need eight feet by eight feet. And we'll just try to get it down as close to the ground as we can. I fortunately got this pretty close down to the gravel. There's just a little bit of snow on top. That'll make things cozy. These things set up nice and quick. Not quite as quick as the uh, other ice fishing hut, but still very quick. Oh, extra parts, even better. Just great. Over the years, I've had many requests to do one of those uh, saran wrap or pallet wrap shelters. And I've held off on it because it seems really wasteful for an overnighter. I'd be great for an emergency situation, but uh, this bubble wrap has a million and one uses after I'm done with the project. So uh, it also will offer some insulative qualities. And uh, I've got two rolls of 100 feet at uh, two and a half, or I guess two feet, 24 inches. I'll just wrap it up and then figure out how to put a door in it later. Sounds sane, right? Those Canadians and Alaskans that are familiar with the cold temperatures will know that tape and cold <laughs> doesn't quite work too well. So this packing tape should do the job. And again, it's only minus 20 Celsius. There is another roll of this and I'll 
put that on top as best I can. I'm keeping this, uh, the roof, because if we do have a snow, that will do a lot better than, than this stuff just straight down there. But uh, I gotta tape this up. I've put a few pieces of tape along here. I'll do that a little bit better, and then I'll just cut a door in somewhere along here. Then we can get set up in there. We'll just tape this up. That should work really good. Didn't fall apart. My initial thoughts are, this is gonna fall apart. <laughs> if there was any wind, we wouldn't have even gotten this far. So it's thankfully a pretty calm night. Fresh in my memory is that body bag though, and the condensation involved. So I'm making sure, I'm very generous with the holes uh, in the wall for ventilation. And there is gonna be a heater in here tonight. So that has to be good and far from the walls, lots of ventilation, because otherwise this thing will Hindenburg on us in no time. The first roll of 100 feet did the walls on this eight x eight gazebo very nicely. I am unsure about that tape, but I'll get it set up inside, then we'll reinforce it with more of this stuff and a lot more tape because uh, I want to wake up with walls on this thing. Oh no! Spoiled by the cot. Ah, time for a little surgery. Yes. Even the slightest wind would spell disaster. <laughs> oh my. Done. Gonna be using this heater on low tonight, I'll tell you that. Stray gust of wind and uh, this stuff would blow right into the grate of that heater. Don't do this. Um, I'm doing it so nobody else ever has to try this again. <laughs> okay, this trainer on medium. And the next phase is to severely reinforce these walls. It's holding in some heat, but uh, it still isn't going to be a really warm night in here, I can tell you already. I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape to try and reinforce this. Uh, packing tape, I found, when it gets cold, is usually almost better than the duct tape or Gorilla Tape. I had some special cold weather duct tape, but it's in a sea can somewhere with all my stuff right now. So we're working with what we got today, which leads me to the next step um, of the game. Step number two. Today is the delicious brew house. One of the favorite standby go-to camping beers. It's not fancy, but it's okay. Just not camping without a fire. Got a can of this stuff. Uh, I call it instant campfire, campfire in a can. It's a gel fuel for uh, those little torches or whatever outside and it actually burns yellow and crackles. So it's really nice, but it's also an accelerant and it'll accelerate our fire situation very nicely. Big blob of the stuff in there.
here's the dreaded wind. I got like most of the roof done, but we got uh, that breeze blowing through. And uh, you can see the door is not happy. I'll try and uh, fasten things down and then we gotta eat and maybe sleep in this thing, I don't know. All the tape is coming off and these walls are gonna rip apart in about a second here. So I'm gonna try and put on one of those walls I had on the river. It's just a nylon tarp, uh, but they're fitted to this thing and hopefully hold it together for me tonight. Uh, I don't think this thing's gonna last until the morning. Um, it's uh, blown apart even in a mild wind right now. Uh, so that makes me a bit nervous. It's probably only marginally better than a sheet of plastic. And actually I think it's probably worse because of all the gaps. I couldn't get the four foot sections. Uh, they weren't in stock. And yeah, that, that wall's just gonna blow off right now I think yikes um, I don't know what to do <laughs> uh, it's gonna be an interesting night but uh, yeah the double foil line stuff they have the bubble wrap that's made out of the double line foil and oh boy there goes the wall behind me okay it's gonna be <laughs> a chilly night uh, that was a little bit expensive uh, for the project and I didn't have any use for it afterwards this is, um, this is a disaster happening right now. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, make the best of it. I'm glad I put those extra wall panels on. Holy man. I really don't know what to do. Um, Boy, it's a pickle. The wind is not stopping. Just getting worse and worse. And I gotta be honest here, if I'm using this heater, the thing's gonna burn down. So, basically, I think I'm gonna have to kind of strip back the uh, the parts that are going to fly off and litter the whole campground and turn off the heater and really bundle up here. Great. The old tent blew off. This is really bad. Here and try to stop this thing from going away. Now you're camping with Steve. Wow. Okay. I really don't know what to do now. Oh boy. Oh, the life of winter camping. So the good news is, with the tent gone, I can use this uh, here with impunity, um, if it'll stay going. I'll just try and point that at me for extra warmth. Uh, gonna try and cook up some uh, smoked sausages on here, because it's pretty much what we can do right now as far as uh, cooking goes and yeah it's certainly not the night I expected <laughs> I have to say but a uh, good night nonetheless beautiful uh, full moon uh, crisp refreshing air uh, doesn't get any better than this yeah I think I'm just gonna lay these uh, hot dogs on there 
and then crawl into uh, I got two sleeping bags grab another one out of the car because I always got a spare in case of this exact situation I sure miss the tent uh, that'd be really nice uh, right now I did have a better meal planned, but I always carried the backups because it was an experimental meal. And I have no idea how that would play out. So, I've at least got something to eat tonight. And he's actually cooked up really nicely on the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. I hope I didn't damage it too much, but I just have to, uh, okay, oh, there goes the flashlight. I have to chow down on this and get into a couple of sleeping bags. Okay, sorry about that, I'm just pigging out here. <laughs> I haven't eaten in a bit. But, uh, of course, there's uh, the shout outs. Um, I've turned off the beer donations, as most people know, um, because there's better things to donate to during the holiday season than uh, my beer fund <laughs> so um, there are monthly people that are kind of on the donation thing automatically and I will give them certainly a shout out but uh, also the folks that have let me know that they've donated here or there to whatever local charity it is um, whether that's the food bank or you know volunteering time whatever the case is uh, thank you to all these great people that are making uh, the Christmas spirit bright holiday spirit uh, whatever spirit uh, you're after at this time of year uh, so cheers to everybody thank you uh, so much okay it's definitely cooled off uh, quite a bit suddenly I'm not sure maybe the wind shifted I don't know but uh, I gotta crawl into these sleeping bags here real quick uh, and try to sleep this off if things go super bad I'll head back to the car but I'm gonna try and be a trooper here and get through this tonight so thank you all for watching um, please consider subscribing if you like these types of things uh, it helps the channel for sure and uh, then I can uh, get more of these up here in uh, hopefully better weather conditions than this so yeah uh, crawl into this and pray I make it through the night. I should be okay. One of these is minus 17 bag, the other is like a minus 5 bag or something. Um, I don't know if you can add those together. Uh, I'm not sure how it works exactly, but uh, yeah. Anyways, time for bed. Ah, good morning. Um, it was pretty warm in the sleeping bag, but uh, obviously things didn't go precisely as I'd planned last night, as they seldom do. So, uh, time to tuck my tail between my legs and start picking up uh, any of this bubble wrap that's blown across the campsite, uh, taking everything down and getting somewhere warm. <laughs> the, uh, the purpose of those trips to the coast was so that I wouldn't uh, have to do too many of these cold weather ones but uh, it's looking like the cold snap is coming back um, for the foreseeable future right into like January sometime so uh, I just back to the drawing board here trying to think of how to stay warm and go camping in these temperatures so uh, yeah, I'm gonna start to uh, ripping this all down and the heater went out last night too so uh, I don't know uh, it's a good thing I had the two sleeping bags
Best part of any winter camping adventure is dragging the tent out of the trees in the morning. And here you go. When I'm packing up in these winter situations, what always ends up happening is I wrap it up in a big ball and throw it in the car and deal with it later. Um, I really can't wait one day to have an indoor garage so that I can deal with this stuff, uh, pack it up nicely once I get home. But these are not the leisurely days of the summer teardown where I put everything back in its package perfectly. I just uh, want to get somewhere warm. Huh. I know people are gonna say, Steve, couldn't you have just avoided like 90% of this trouble by staking it down to the ground? Um, it's pretty frozen. Uh, to stake it down I need a hilti or something like that. Even in the summer it ain't easy to, uh, to stake that stuff down. And whoever that subscriber was a while back that commented did you leave the, uh, the roofs on these when you take them down? That thing makes things a lot easier. So next week uh, coming up here, I guess this is actually today's Sunday morning, so I'm gonna upload this today. Then I'm gonna be uh, heading out camping again on Tuesday because that's the warmest day we're gonna have for quite a while. And when I say warm, I mean like a high of minus 10 Celsius. Uh, so not balmy summer conditions, that's for sure. But uh, I'll be able to get my stealth done um, and that will be kind of like the Christmas Eve special and then um, there will be um, a New Year's one. I guess it'll be like New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve with Steve. Um, what could be better? So, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, stay tuned, it should be a stealth. Um, I'm really trying to figure out like how to stay warm and stealthy. <laughs> and it's not a very easy combination of things. So, uh, we will see you guys in just a few days here. And It all fits in my car. We'll be in good shape. Uh, see you guys in a few days. Cheers. Can't forget this.